Hello, this is Sneaky and welcome back to Tapping That Sass. Today I want to talk about my key bindings for Warframe. Um, this will both help people in general get a feel for how I set up my keyboard and mouse for disability, uh, accessibility purposes, and give you some specific ideas maybe if you play Warframe and need help in that department. Uh, so very quickly, uh, I still use WASDA spacebar to jump. Uh, left mount button to fire, right mouse button to aim, and those are all standard on pretty much every game. Even though my left hand is pretty messed up, um, you know, I've still been able to train myself to use WASDA uh, and the space bar as much as possible, um, using my index and middle finger and thumb for the most part. Um, it's not great, but there it is. So let's get to what makes Warframe Warframe. Uh, first, my primary thumb button, G5. I use uh, set up as another dual command I do in most games, as both the use command, which is uh, bound to X on the keyboard, that things, does things like open doors, uh, executes certain functionality, uh, just like use command in most games, as well as Warframe's uh, melee command. Um, quick melee is bound to E in the key bindings. Uh, and so I have this dual key that does both of them. That works out fine in almost every instance I can think of. Except, I will show you one instance here where it does kind of suck. If you are standing underneath of one of these zip lines, and uh, you hit this button here to attack, well, it jumps you up to the zip line. <laughs> Other than that, pretty much every, every place in the game works fine. Uh, so it's just one of those minor annoyances I have to deal with. Um, so... Uh, Next attacking thing above my G5 button, G8, is my spellcasting button. Um, in the game, this is defined as use selective power, which I've uh, rebound on the keyboard to number 6, Y6. Uh, well, 1 through 4 on the keyboard are the default buttons for casting your 1 through 4 abilities, and 5 is taken for something else. Um, so use selected ability just kind of made sense to go by the use numbered abilities 1 through 4. Uh, so that will use the ability you have selected. If you check the bottom right of my screen, you'll see I am uh, scrolling through my abilities down here. And we have Hall of Mirrors. That is Mirage's mirror image skill. Uh, G5 executes that. Um, so I don't actually use the 1 through 4 buttons to activate my skills manually. I only use the use selected power, and to move through the powers, we use the game's default uh, power movement key, which is the mouse wheel. Uh, so finally, in the killing things department, um, I use the G7 button to change weapons from primary to secondary. Uh, and in Warframe, if you hold down that button for a minute, it takes out your melee weapon. So you can, you know, attack the zip line like I just did, which is always very useful. <laughs> Alright. Um, after that, uh, let's do movement. So, as personal preference, when I am moving around, when I want to go fast, which is all the time, I use the roll command. Um, that's what I have set to uh, G6. So a lot of people use the bullet jump command here, but you know how I am with jumping. I prefer to stay, stay on the ground whenever possible, and there's not really enough room in my setup to use both, so I use roll. Uh, you could very easily put bullet jump there instead. Um, now in the game, um, both sprint and roll are by default assigned to the same key, which means and if I didn't want to be turning sprint on and off. Um, I had to take that and uh, reassign that. Well, actually, I deleted that button entirely. And thankfully, they have a binding for just roll, which I have rebound to the plus button on the keypad. Um, G9, right above that, I have for uh, slide, which is helpful when you're jumping down. You don't want to do a hard landing. You can uh, you can hit the slide button, and your character will not take a hard landing. You'll just kind of slide away. If I can find a spot here, there, that, that's a slide. If you were to jump off that normally, I believe you would take a hard landing. Let's see. Yeah, that's a hard landing. It just kind of stuns you for a second. It's no big deal, but that's mainly what slide does, and that has the default key binding of V. 
Uh, it also has the new functionality with K drives of activating the grind ability. So I also use that to initiate grind on the K drive. Um, what else we have? Finally, uh, I guess rinding, uh, rounding out the rest of the bindings on the mouse. Uh, they're just shortcuts. Uh, the last thumb button, G4, I have set to operator mode. Uh, sorry, no spoilers. Except that was just a spoiler. <laughs> G5 brings out my operator. Um, the pseudo thumb shortcut buttons, uh, G10 and G11. I have G10 bound to the gear wheel uh, to activate your gear. And I have uh, G11 bound to the map button. Um, there we go. And that is it. Now, that does leave some functionality uh, off of the old mouse bindings. Um, specifically, there's a few buttons that I have to press using the keyboard uh, from time to time that I can't I can't get away with using the mouse clear. for. No detection from uh, enemy sensors. Specifically, I, I need to uh, I occasionally press uh, the G key on the keyboard to put a markment placer on the ground. Um, I have to place that manually, and I have to use my... I have to basically look at the keyboard, take my hand off the WASD key, which I don't like to do, press the G key, but we don't use marking that often. Um, the other one that I will occasionally use... Uh, anytime we really have to is the B button for super jump. I'd like to get this onto my mouse somewhere. I could swap out maybe the map button for it. Um, but V is super jump. Um, now that said, you don't need super jump all that often. This is this well. This is not a good. Um, this is not a good example. But uh, there is an auto wall jumping feature in Warframe that you can just kind of jump up any wall by holding the space bar pressing space to kind of jump as you hit the wall. So for most instances, I don't even use super jump, um, and you may get away with not using it much either. Uh, finally, um, there is the T button, which uh, opens up the chat panel. But if I'm chatting, I'm already going to be taking my key, uh, my hands off of the WASD keys to chat, so it's not not too big of a deal to have that on a keyboard. And that is it. That is all of the Warframe bindings. So let's go finish that, this mission, and I will show you what the keyboard and mouse settings look like. Alright, here we go. Okay, let's talk about the keys I have rebound on the keyboard. First up, we have the crouch button, which I have put on the delete button on the numpad. Now you don't actually have to crouch that much in this game, I think there's just a few stages in the derelict. Um, so since I can't reach that button with my left hand, which is bound to control, can probably remove that. Um, I have it on the delete key. Occasionally I will have to do that and press it with the right, uh, right hand. We have, uh, sprint roll, which I don't use ever, bound to the star button on the num numpad. And we have sprint, bound to the plus key on the numpad. Now sprint, I basically just toggle at the beginning of the stage using the plus button with my right hand. To turn it on and we just keep, leave auto run on the entire stage. Uh, next up we have use like the power which I've already talked about. Uh, I have this bound to the six button. It doesn't really matter what we bind it to because it's just something we're going to put on the mouse um, but since the other ability keys are bound through one through five using them one through five I just you know I thought that this looked good. Symmetrical if you would. <laughs> um, so that's why we use that. And finally, we just have the H key bound to um, the scanner in my gear wheel. I don't use the scanner much anymore. Most everything is scanned, so it's very rare when I need to whip this out. Um, otherwise, uh, I have removed a bunch of keys. Um, all of these keys have been removed. Reverse camera, uh, never use, spectate. We don't play PvP in Warframe, nobody does. Show player lists, uh, you can get to that using the escape key, push to talk, I use discord, inspect, uh, again you can get to that using the escape key. Um, so I also recommend any key that you're not using to unbind if possible. Um, that way you don't hit it when you are flailing your hands around, <laughs> you know, like a drunken chihuahua trying to reach the various buttons. Um, you know, in the heat of battle, and then you press something you didn't mean to press, and it messes you up. 
if you unbind everything that you're not going to use, it just makes that easier. And coincidentally, that's also why when I bind something, we're going to bind it to the num, uh, the, the keypad. So that again, it's away from the left hand. Uh, it's not in a place where something's going to get pressed accidentally. Um, if you want to unbind something, all you need to do is, let's say we have uh, reverse camera bound to T, um, and uh, we want to get rid of that. You can just pick another uh, ability that you have. Uh, let's use ability A. Um, you can't actually unbind it. You have to choose another key to bind. So you bind over top of it using the one key. And then we can come back here to ability A and put one back. Uh, and that is it. Now I will rebound the T button that I took off of chat, I believe. Where's chat? There we go. And uh, the rest of the keybinds are all the default keybinds, uh, which you can find in the uh, wiki for Warframe if you're interested. I'll put the link in the description below along with all the keybinds that I have changed so that you can replicate them if needed. All right, so what does that give us? Well, that gives us this keyboard layout. Remember, the teal buttons are buttons I press with my left hand, and the new magenta button uh, is the button I press with my right hand. And that is it. So you may be wondering, how do you play a game as complicated as Warframe with limited keyboard and mouse access? And this, well, this has been my answer. Um, obviously, there are other setups that you could use. There are other things that you could do. But with this few amount of keys uh, and a six-button mouse, I have been able to do everything I needed to do. Uh, and I hope you'll be able to do that too. So what I'll do is, in the description below, I will put a text-based list of all my key bindings for reference. And I will also link you to the wiki, uh, the Warframe wiki that shows the list of default key bindings. So in, in case you mess something up or you uh, you want to change something back, you'll have a list there. You don't have to use revert all key bindings. I've done that before. That really sucks. Uh, and that is it. Uh, and now we'll just end off with you guys taking a look at how crazy full my operator room is becoming with all this crap. <laughs> um, otherwise, I will see you guys on the next one. Later.